On average, motorcycles equipped with radiators have a higher price range. Does this radiator have a correlation with engine performance? Are motorcycles that use radiators definitely better? Let's discuss it in depth. The radiator itself is one of the components in the engine cooling system. This radiator is not a component that directly affects engine performance, as the cooling system's job is to prevent the engine from overheating. However, the use of a radiator can be more effective than other types of cooling systems. To make it clearer, I will explain several types of cooling systems widely used in motorcycles. The first is the air cooling system, which uses outside air to cool the engine. This type of cooling system is quite simple, as it doesn't require additional components like radiators. Engines that use air-cooled systems usually have fins on the cylinder block and cylinder head, which widen the contact area between the hot engine surface and the cooling outside air. The air cooling system has two types, natural air cooling and forced air cooling. Natural air cooling is usually used on cub or naked sport motorcycles whose engines are exposed to free air. For example, when the motor is running, the air automatically hits the engine, activating the cooling system. Forced air cooling, on the other hand, is used on scooters with more closed engines. This type has a fan to create airflow. As in this example, the fan connected to the engine crank rotates when the engine is running, removing hot air from the engine area to the open air. In essence, this cooling system uses only the airflow around the engine to cool the engine temperature, eliminating the need for additional components like radiators. However, this results in less than optimal cooling power, especially for larger engine capacities. Therefore, a more advanced system is used, the water cooling system. As the name implies, this cooling system uses water as a medium for heat transfer. Engines that use radiators have a special cavity filled with cooling water, which circulates to each cavity. When the engine temperature rises, the coolant temperature also rises, and the water is circulated to the radiator to lower its temperature. Technically, the water enters the radiator fins, and a fan behind the radiator blows air through the fins, lowering the water temperature. The cooled water is then returned to the engine cavity to absorb heat in the next phase. Comparing the natural air cooling system and the water cooling system, we see that both use air as the final medium to release engine heat. However, the water cooling system collects engine heat in one point. Namely, the radiator and the air passing through the radiator can be adjusted in speed. If the engine heat is still not too high, the fan rotates at low speed. But when the engine starts to heat up, the fan rotation can be faster. This cannot be done by the natural air cooling system where the cooling rate is influenced by the speed of the motor itself. The engine block doesn't need to be equipped with fins, making the engine space wider. This allows for larger capacity engines to fit. From these differences, it can be concluded that the water cooling system using a radiator is used for engines with larger capacities, such as 150 cubic centimeters and above. Why are motorcycles with radiators more expensive? It's because there are many additional components in the water cooling system such as radiators, radiator hoses, reservoir tanks, and a more complicated fan mechanism. So, is the performance of a motorcycle with a radiator definitely better? In my personal opinion, it doesn't matter because the engine needs heat for maximum performance. But excessive heat is not good. Using a radiator on a small capacity engine can prevent the engine from reaching its working temperature, reducing engine performance.
whether to use a radiator or not, depends on the capacity and style of the motorcycle. Motorcycles 150cc and below with a touring style are fine without radiators, but sporty motorcycles targeting speed usually require radiators. That's all the explanation about motorcycle radiators. Hopefully, it will increase our knowledge.